بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته respected teachers, parents, honorable judges and esteemed guests welcome to MCC Sunday School's 12th annual year and celebration my name is Fawaz my name is Nofu my name is Jannat and my name is Amina <clears throat> and we have the honor of being your MCs for today, inshallah. Today is the day of celebration, a day to celebrate your child's growth and excellence in the studies of the Quran and Islam. Today we will highlight pieces of that during our program. Okay, let's go over some house rules. If I could have your attention to go over some house rules. There's absolutely no food or drinks in the prayer hall. Please refrain from blocking the stage when taking pictures. You may have noticed that we have a professional photo booth set up at the back of the ladies' prayer hall. There you, you can take pictures of your winners today at the end of the program. Please keep all aisles and exits open. Seating layout has been marked by the blue tape. Please make sure you are sitting on the blue tape. Audience, in respect of our program, please silence your phones. If you have any questions during our program, you may direct your attention to any of the dedicated volunteers. Early last year, MCC Sunday School piloted a new program in partnership with the nonprofit organization Muhsin to, to provide an inclusive Islamic community based learning environment to our special needs students and their families. We now have a dedicated special needs classroom that is designed to cater to all of the needs of the students. Our volunteers dedicate their time, their compassion, and their energy to ensure that our students have a fun and safe learning environment. With the sincere efforts of our coordinator, Brother Farooq Hassan, our lead special needs teacher, Sister Nahid Imran, and very dedicated volunteers, Alhamdulillah, our Muhsin class is in its second year. Please give your utmost attention to our Muhsin class led by their Islamic teacher, Brother Muhammad Sokar, in their recitation of Surah Al Fatiha. Thank you much in class for a wonderful recitation. It takes courage to get up in front of a large audience and we are proud of you. Now would I like to call upon our respected principal, Sister Shaima, for a few words. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Respected guest judges, Imam Tahir, Kari Amar, Hafiz Abdul Razak, Board of Directors, Board of Trustees, MCC parents and students, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you on our 12th annual year and celebration. Alhamdulillah, along with our dynamic curriculum and wonderful teachers, we have had an eventful school year with the introduction of many new and exciting additions to our Sunday school program that were well received by the student body. New to our program were an artificial intelligence workshop from NVIDIA led by Brother Ahmed, an emergency preparedness by Brother Rehan, our first in-house art competition led by Sister Sara and Sister Zenobia, two successful field trips led by Brother Basil and Sister Mariam, the initiation of the new high school student volunteer program led by Brother Daniel, and inshallah today our upcoming quiz bowl by Brother Ahmed and Brother Ruben, and our first ever individual Quranic competition led by Sister Abir. It's the countless hours of our volunteers and the dedication to our school that makes MCC Sunday School what it is today. 
Jazakallah khair for all your efforts. Lastly, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Ian Ear and team, Brother Anis, Sister Selma, Sister Fatma, Sister Sara, and our invaluable core team consisting of Sister Razia, Brother Farooq Maniar, Brother Farooq Hassan, Brother Zubair, for putting together this celebration for us today. May Allah reward all your efforts. Our students and staff have worked very hard to bring you a fun-filled and exciting program. Please take a seat and enjoy the celebration. Assalamu alaikum. On behalf of the MCC staff, students, and parents, we would like to thank our esteemed and well-loved Principal Sister Shaima and Vice Principal Sister Razia. We thank you for the endless hours you have dedicated to our Sunday School. Without your committed guidance, we would not be able to host today's event. For all, for, for all that the two of you all do, we are extremely grateful. May Allah bless you and your families. Um, Please give your attention to our tiniest students, the pre-K class, led by Sister Siddiqa singing the, the Nasheed, Allah made everything. job pre-k. Next we have our kindergarten yeah. class led by Sister Insia, Sister Afshan, Sigida Nasheed, Ya Nabi Salam Aleika. Allah and his angels sent prayers upon the Prophet. O oh, you who believe sent your prayers upon him and salute him with all respect. Ayah 56, Surah Azab.
Mashallah, Kinder, wonderful job. Next, we have our first grade, first grade class led by Sister Nida, Sister Yasmin, and Sister Sara singing the Nasheed Bismillah. first grade. That was great. We thank all of our littlest students for practicing and putting their best efforts forward. We will now begin our first ever individual elementary Quran competition led by Sister Abir. Our Quranic team led by Sister Abir had a desire to inspire the kids to learn Quran beyond the assigned curriculum and increase the love of learning and memorizing the Holy Quran. Alhamdulillah, we had a great response with 29 qualifying participants between levels one and four, which 12 finalists have been nominated. Three students from each grade. Please give your utmost attention to our students as they set up and get ready for their recitation. We will begin with the first grade finalists, Kehan Sean, Qasim Ashfaq, and Layal Hilal. Say your name. Layal. Kasim. Kayon. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alam tara kaifa faala rabbuka bi ashab al fil. Alam yajal kaida hum fi tadlil. Wa arsal alayhim tayran ababil. Tarmihim bi hijarat ma sijil. Fajalahum kasfim makul. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول كيهان أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تطلي وأرسل عليهم طير أبابي ترميهم بهجارة نسجي وجعلهم كأصف مكهو صدق الله العظيم Next, our second grade finalist, Siam Ikram, Tassin Saida, and Zubair Ahmed. Sign. Zubair. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wadduha. وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا سَجَى مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَرْوًا لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْدَى أَلَمْ يَجِدَكَ يَتِيمًا فَآوَى وَفَجِدَكَ دَالًا وَأَغْنَى وَحَادَى وَفَجِدَكَ عَائِلًا وَأَغْنَى وَأَمَّا الْيَتِيمَ فَلَا تَكَهَرْ وَأَمَّا السَّائِلَ فَلَا تَنْهَرْ وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَهَدِّثْ أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والدحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى وللآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك آئلا فأغنى فأنفى اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما من عمتي ربك فهدث أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والدها والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى ولا الآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولا سوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فأوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأخنى اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فهدث فلخ الله أزيم ما شاء الله such great recitations we will now have our third grade finalists Mutasim Ali Said Aspa Ahmed and Rayan Kamal. Mutasim, Auzu Billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. 
والتين والزيتون وطور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد قلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقوين ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وأمنوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الهاكمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والدين والزيتون وطور سنين وهذا البدل الأمين أخذ خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم عددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكدك بعد بالدين أليس الله في أحكم الهاكمين My name is Rayan. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتين والزيتون وثور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون <laughs> MashaAllah, those were great recitations as well. Lastly, we have our fourth grade finalists, Madi Sikdar, Niyal Shan, and Laimar Al Zayat. My name is Mahdi Sikdar. A'uju billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Iza zulzilat al ardu zilzalaha wa akhrajat al ardu athqalaha wa qala al insanu ma laha. يَوْمَئِذٍ تُهَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا بِأَنَّ رَبَّكَ وَحَالَهَا يَوْمَئِذٍ يَسْتُرُ النَّاسُ أَشْتَاتَوْ لِيُرَوْ عَمَالَهُمْ فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَى My name is Nayo. Aoutu billah min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ida zulzilat al-ahdu zilzalaha, wa akhadat al-ahdu akhalaha, wa qala al-insanu malaha. Ya ma'idin tuhabbitu akhbaraha. بأن ربك أوهالها يوم إذ يستر الناس أشتاتا ليرى أعمالهم فمن يأخل من قامة ضرة خير مأمور ومن يأخل من قامة ضرة خير مأمور My name is Limar Al-Zayyad. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 
إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوحى لها يومئذ يسر الناس أشتاقا ليرى أعمالهم فمن يعمل بتقال ضرة خيرا يرى ومن يعمل بتقال ضرة شرا يرى Masha, Masha Allah, wonderful recitations by all of the students. The judges are scoring, and inshallah, the winners for each grade will be announced during the awards portion of this celebration. Now we will proceed to the Quranic class presentations. Inshallah, we will begin with the first grade, led by our teachers, Brother Imad, uh, Sister Hanane, and Sister Razvi Sultana, reciting Surah Tung Kafiru. شيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أظهر ما تقولون ولا أنتم أبدون ما Second grade will now perform reciting Surah Al Fiel, led by Sister Marwa, Sister Rabab, and Sister Sahar. <laughs> Mashallah, wonderful job, second grade. We now have third grade with the recitation of Surah At-Takathur, led by teachers uh, Sister Fatin, Sister Amira, and Brother Abdul Rahman. Say thank you, say thank you. 
Ready on stage is our fourth grade class, A and B, led by teachers Brother Taha, Brother Adin. They will now recite for you Surah Al Ala. Allah, wonderful job, fourth grade. Ready? So, um, ready for us on, on stage is now fifth grade, led by teachers Brother Junaid, Brother Zahir, reciting for us Surah Al Mulk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I will be reading two hadiths from Surah Al Mulk. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Hadith number one Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say There is a surah in the Quran which contains 30 ayat which kept interceding for a man until his sins are forgiven this surah is blessed is he in whose hand is in the dominion. Surah Al-Mulk, reported in Tirmidhi and Abu Dawood. Hadith number two. It was narrated that Abdul, Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu anhu said, whoever reads, Tabarakalladhi biyadahi al-mulk, Surah Al-Mulk every night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect him from the torment of the grave. At the time of Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, we used to call it al maraniya that which protects. In the Book of Allah, it is a surah which whoever recites it every night has done very well. Reported in An-Nasai. Shaitan al-Rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Tabarak al-Ladhi biyadihi al-Mulk Wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir Al-Nabi khalaq al-Mulk wal-Hayata liyabluwakum Ayyukum ahsan amala Wa huwa al-Aziz al-Ghafoor Al-Ladhi khalaq al-Sabah Yeah. 
Uh, enter, exit, empty, or earache. 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 Enter. Earache. And the answer is exit. What does al runna mean? Navy, name, noun, or nasal? The answer is nasal, alhamdulillah. Next question. What are the letters of Runna? Ta and Ha, Qaf and Waw, Alif and Kaf, or Noon and Neen? And the answer is Noon and Neen. What is the theme of Surah al alaq is it revelation, reverse, revolving, or retrospect? Revelation. 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 Okay, the answer, alhamdulillah, revelation. Next question. Yeah. The first word of Surah al alaq means what? Read, bread, write, or read? Bread, excuse me. Bread, bread, write, or read? All right, the, question, uh, the, the correct answer is read. Which angel revealed the Quran? Is it Jibreel, Jibreel, Gabriel, or the Holy Spirit? Jibreel. All right, they're all correct. Next. Question. Final question. Where was Surah Al Alaq revealed? Cave of Hira, Cave of Hamburger, Cave of Hero, or Cave of Hand? Cave of Hira. The answer is Cave of Hira, mashallah. Yay. So, with that, inshallah, we just wanted to highlight some of the stuff we've learned this year. Is that okay? Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mashallah, very good job, Thank you. class 4C. And now we will have our sixth grade classes led by Brother Yusuf, Brother Mujahad, and Brother Muhammad. First, we will be having class, classroom 6A, reciting ayat 1 through 5 of Surah Hujarat. Okay. Um. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu la tuqaddimu bayna yadayillahi wa rasulih Wattakullah inna Allah sami'un alim Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu la tarfa'u aswatakum فوق صوت النبي ولا تجهروا له بالقول كجحر بعدكم لبعد أو تحبط أعمالكم وأنتم لا تشعرون إن الذين يقدون أصواتهم عند رسول الله أولئك الذين امتحن الله قلوبهم للتقوى لهم مغفرة وأجر عظيم إن الذين ينادونك من وراء الخجرات أكثرهم لا يعقلون ولو أنهم صبروا حتى تخرج إليهم لكان خيرا لهم والله غفور رحيم
Mashallah, thank you so much, 6A, for your recitation. I have, and we're not I have a They're not done yet? Um, this is the translation of uh, Ayahs 1 through 5 of Al Qajara. Ayah 1. O you who believe, do not put yourselves before Allah and His Messenger and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is all hearing, all knowing. O you who believe, do not raise your voices above the voice of the Prophet, nor speak aloud to him and talk as you speak aloud to one another, lest your deeds may be rendered vain while you perceive not. Indeed, those who lower their voices in the presence of Allah's messengers, they are the ones whose hearts Allah has tested for righteousness. For them forgiveness and a great for them is forgiveness and a great reward. Indeed, those who call you from behind the apartment, most of them have no sense. And if they had patience until you could come out to them, it would have been better for them. And Allah is all forgiving, all merciful. Um, Surah Hijarath was revealed after certain people were being very disrespectful to the Prophet. Referring to um, the translation for Ayat 4, um, the travelers came and called O Muhammad from his apartment. Um, the Surah al hijarat goes over certain mannerisms in, when in the Prophet's presence, such as lowering your voices and um, how you shouldn't, um, um, how you should respect the Prophet. Now, Jazakallah for um, 6A for doing the recitation and the translation. And now we're going to have 6B do ayah 6 through 8 for Surah Al Hujurat. <laughs> Oh, you who believe, if a disobedient person comes to you with a news, so investigate, lest you harm a people in ignorance, then you become regretful over what you have done. I know that the messenger of Allah is among you. If he were to obey you in most of the matter, you would be in difficulty. But Allah has endured the faith to you and made it pleasing in your hearts and has made hateful to you disbelief and wrongdoing and disobedience. It is those who are rightly guided. A bounty from Allah and a favor. And Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. And now for some light commentary. Okay, for ayah number six. In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted ordered investigating the news that, sin that sinners and the wicked bring to make sure of its authenticity and to not blindly accept whatever the corrupted and sinners may tell you. For ayah number seven, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that the Prophet, peace be upon him, is among us. Though he is physically not present among us, but now he, us now, but he is with us through his teaching. We can find him in the Quran and the books of Hadith. We can also find him in the pious people who are emulating him. <clears throat> we are commanded to follow the Prophet, peace be upon him, as he fully knows what is beneficial for us. Elsewhere in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us that it deeply troubles the Prophet, peace be upon him, if any hardship touches us. This shows that the Prophet, peace be upon him, loves us more than anyone can love us. There, there are other hadith that prove this point. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to reciprocate this love. Ameen. 
hand now for Aya number eight. In reality, in reality, it is the bounty and favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he guides whom he wants. He is all knowing and all wise. And may I ask you all to make a quick dua. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow his favors and guidance on us to make his obedience beloved and disobedience hateful to our hearts. We ask him to include us among those who are rightly guided. I mean. MashaAllah, wonderful job, sixth grade. We now have our seventh grade girls ready on stage, led by Sister Dina. They will be reciting verses 11 through 13 from Surah al hujurat Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to, I'm Amina, and today I'm going to read Surah 49 al hujurat ayahs 11 to 13 today. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu la yaskhar qawmun min qawmin asa an yakunu khayran minhum wala nisaun min nisain asa an yakunna khayran minhum wala talmizu anfusakum wala tanabalu bil alqab bi'sal ismul fusuku ba'dal iman wa man lam yutub fa ulaika humul zalimun يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن إن بعض الظن اسم ولا تجسسوا ولا يخطب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لهم أخيه ميتا فكرهتم واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنسى وجعلنا شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم خبير صدق الله العظيم Hi, my name is Yusra and today I will be telling you about the translation of Ayah 11, 12, and 13 of Surah Hujra. In Ayah 11, Allah says, O you who believe, neither should men mock other men. It may be that these are better than they. Nor should women mock other women. It may be that these are better than they. And do not insult one another among yourselves, nor call one another by nicknames. That is the name of disobedience after faith. And whoever does not repent, then it is those who are the wrongdoers. In Ayah 12, Allah says, O you who believe, avoid much of suspicion. Indeed, some suspicious are sins. And do not spy, nor should any one of you backbite the other. Would any among you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother? You would hate it. And fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is acceptor of repentance and all merciful. In Ayah 13, Allah says, O mankind, we have created you from a male and a female and made you into nations and tribes that you may know one another. Verily, Allah... Um, verily, the most honorable of you with Allah is that who has a taqwa. Verily, Allah is all knowing, all aware. Taqwa is being mindful of Allah. Inshallah, I hope all of you will be able to attain taqwa. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Najma, and today I will be telling you what I have learned from Ayahs 11, 12, and 13 in Surah Al Hujurat and how it relates in our daily lives. What I learned from verse 11 is that in our daily lives, people these days should not mock each other with bad nicknames. Neither should we follow the path of the wrongdoers, but follow the path of the Muslims that repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What I learned in verse 12 is that in our daily lives, we should not backbite and gossip around people's back when they are not looking. All of us in this room should have integrity in us. Integrity means that doing the right thing even when no one is looking. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said to avoid backbiting as much as you can, or you will eat the dead flesh of your brother. What I learned from verse 13 is that in our daily lives, Allah has created you as a boy or a girl, and you should respect what gender Allah has given you by not changing it. Why Allah did this is because you need to recognize and know each other. And the only way to do that is to create two different tribes, the boys and the girls. MashaAllah, wonderful job, our seventh grade girls. Our last group on the stage will be the 8th grade class led by Sister Dina. They will be reciting verses 17 and 18 of Surah Al-Hujarat. 
Assalamu alaikum, my name is Jenna. My, my name, name is Michelle. My name is Maryam. My name is Halima. And my name is Hadia. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Yamunun alayka an aslamu. Kulla tamunu alayya islamakum. Balillahu yamunu alaykum an hadakum lil imani in kuntum sadiqeen. The meaning of this verse is they consider a favor to you that they have accepted Islam. Say, do not consider your Islam as a favor to me, but Allah has done favor upon you that he has guided you to the faith if you are truthful. Inna Allah ya'lamu ghayba samawati wal ard. Wallahu basirun bima ta'amaloon. The meaning behind this verse is, indeed Allah knows the unseen of the heavens and the earth. And Allah is the all-seer of what we do. These ayats teach us two important lessons. Ayat 17 teaches us that we are Muslims for ourselves. We are not Muslims to do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a favor. We are Muslims so we can go to Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done us a favor by guiding us to the right faith. In Ayat 18, it teaches us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always watching us. Just because other people aren't watching you, that doesn't mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala isn't. He is the all-seer of what you do. This teaches us to always be cautious of our actions, even if we are alone. MashaAllah, wonderful job, 8th grade. This concludes the Quranic class present presentations. In a few moments, we will start our new and improved Quiz Bowl competition, which promises to be a very exciting treat for our inquisitive audience. Brother Ahmed and Brother Ruban have been working very hard in leading this program this year to give MCC Sunday School an innovative and interactive format for our students to enjoy. Will all the participants of the Quiz Bowl please proceed to the stage to join their respective teams? Brother Ahmed, if you can come up here as well and say a few words about the next program. Okay, so mashallah, this year we have 108 students registered for the quiz bowl, mashallah. And for the first qualifying test, so of course we cannot make teams to accommodate everyone. So unfortunately we had to do elimination test. So we did first qualifying test and then we had tiebreakers, so we did the second qualifying test and mashallah today we have 56 participants divided into four teams every team every team has a representative from first grade all the way to high school so how today the competition will be like that Imam Tahir Jazallah Khair and brother Robin Jazamullah Khair wills say one question per grade we're gonna start from first grade and first grade representative only per team will be allowed to answer the question. They have iPad in their hand. Okay, please, please. So they have iPad in their hand and first grader will have the iPad for first question. Once Imam Tahir repeats the questions, the four answer will be on the screen with colors. The colors only will show on the device. So the student has to pick the color representative the correct answer. Every team answer the question correctly will get points. The fastest team will get extra points. After finishing question one, question one, we'll go to question two to grade two. And so on, third, fourth, fifth, all the way to high school. And then will be question number 10 as a group question. Once we finish round one, we're gonna repeat round two the same thing. If we have time, we're going to go to round three, but now we're going to go for two rounds. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a question for the first grade. At what age did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam become a prophet?
And the answer is C, 40 years. Next question. What does the sunnah mean? Third grade. Uh, who was Ishaq alayhi salatu wasalam's mother? Next grade level, fourth grade. Who was the leader of the Makkan Quraysh army at the Battle of Badr? Alright, next question for fifth grade. How long was the period of revelation for the Quran? Uh, sixth grade. Which of the Prophet Wasallam's wives kept the preliminary copy of the Quran safe until the third Khalifa took charge of it? Seventh grade, in the story of Yusuf alayhi salam, who accused Yusuf alayhi salam? Grade eight, eighth grade, the chain of narrators for hadith were known as ninth grade and high school where did the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam make the two secret pledges with the people of Medina okay we have an entire group question this is for everyone is everyone ready Okay, what was the year of the first revelation? <laughs> okay, next question, first grade. First grade. Thank you. At what city or in what city was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam born? Okay. Second grade. Second grade. Second grade. At what age did the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's mother Amina pass away third grade is everyone ready third grade is third grade ready okay to whom did the prophet Isa Jesus alayhi salam peace be upon him come as a prophet Fourth grade, what was the name of the Persian slave who killed Umar radiallahu an? Okay, fifth grade, which surah in the Holy Quran discusses the battle of Badr in details? All right, sixth grade. Who are the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's daughters? Okay. 
Okay. Seventh grade. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam married thirteen women. How many took place? It, how many took place between the ages of fifty-five and sixty? Well, we can carry on with this one. All right. Eighth grade. During the mission of Tabuk, who was appointed the governor of Medina? Five seconds left. Ninth grade in high school. Where did the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam live the first two years of his life? And this is for the entire group. Last question, why does the following ayah on the finality of the Prophet, on the finality of the Prophet state, مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِّن رِجَالِكُمْ وَلَكِنْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمًا Why was this ayah revealed? This is the end. Thank you so much, Brother Ahmed. <laughs> Winning team Abu Bakr, please come up to and receive your medals. Team Abu Bakr. Make a line, guys. Make a line. Can we stand straight in a straight line? And then I'll just get everyone one after the other. Oh, okay, so you go. That wasn't an hour break. They said it would take an hour. Break. As many of you know, an amazing art competition took place on March 17th, led by, led by Sister Sara Beg and Sister Zinuba Latif. We had a great amount of interest and had over 120 registrants. During the art competition that day, students expressed their individual interpretations and love of Islam through different creative mediums. These art place pieces were judged on a rubric based on interpretation, Creativity and Technique by, by Sister Salma Chowdhury and Sister Sadia Qureshi. Sister Shaima, please come up onto the stage to present the winner medical medals for the art competition. <coughs> okay. Winners, as you hear your names, please come up on stage to receive your medal, certificate, and gift. Audience, please hold your applause until the end.
For the first grade art competition, every kid's a winner and they will be celebrated in their individual classrooms. For the second grade art competition, the winners are in second place, Tasin Saida, and in first place, Adam Ali. For the third grade art competition, the winners are in second place, Sami Sikdar, and in first place, Alina Khan. Alina is first place. Okay. Alina. Alina is first place. For the third grade art competition, no, wait, I did third grade. For the fourth grade art competition, the winners are in second place, Hasna T, and in first place, Umayza Anwar. Umayza is first, and Hasna is second. In fifth grade, the art competition winners are in second place, Hiba Adib, and in first place, Sara Mimun. For the sixth grade art competition, the winners are in second place Ayaz Ahmed and in first place Ismail Beg. For the seventh grade art competition, the winners are in second place, Amina Amir, and in first place, Amina Anjum. Yay. Where's the other Amina? Yes, Amina Anjum. Oh, she's first. Um, they got first, right? Yeah, Amina Anjum is first. For the eighth grade art competition, the winners are in second place, Sophia Roshan, and in first place, Halima Atik. First place? Sophia second. First place is, is Halima. Oh, second place. For the winners of the high school art competition, the winners are in second place, Aliza Shahab, and in first place, Sadia Hussein. Thank you all for participating in this year this year in our first in-house art competition and congratulations to all of our art winners for this year. This year we asked our teachers to select the best overall achieving student of their class in, class in Quranic and Islamic from level 3. The results are in. I would like to call our respected Imam Tahir to come up and present medals to our best overall achieving students for this year. Students, please come up on stage when you hear your names called to receive your medals, certificates, and a gift. Audience, please hold your applause until the list is read. For Islamic studies, our best achievers from level three are Amina Sheikh, 
Fadhil Kudbadeen and Muhammad Noman Quraysh. Amina Sheikh, Fadhil Kudbuddin, and Mohammed Noman Quraysh. Right, if they're not here, then we go to the next section. Just call the next group out. Okay. Oh, there they are. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Our best achiever from level four is Anisa Khan and Mohammed Parik. She's coming up twice. Yeah. That's okay, that was the third one. They're all good. Muhammad Barak. Muhammad Barak. And the son again. Anissa Han. Anissa Han. It's not here. Just call their level out when you can. Our best achievers from level five are. It's really loud. Really loud. Our best achievers from level five are Hiba Adib. Saif Jelani and Aya El Kasi. Come on up. Our best achiever from level six is Sama Hussain. Our best achiever from level seven is Hafsa Momin. Our best achiever from level eight is Jannat Beg. For, for Quranic studies, our best achiever from level three is Sakina Ahmed and Amina Sheikh. Sakina Ahmed and Amina Sheikh. Our best achievers from level, our best achiever from level four is Ryan Dalala. Our best achievers from level five are Nuha Khan and Zafar Qasim and Bilal Ashraf. Can you repeat level five again? Our best achievers from level five are Nuha Khan, Zafar Qasim and Bilal Ashraf. Okay, next. Our best achiever from level six is Alina Sarosh. Alina, oh, that means Alina's here. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming. I think that might be her. Oh, there's Alina Sarosh. You're Our best achiever from level seven is Hafsa Momin and Sohail Qazi. <laughs> Our best achievers from level eight are Saim Hassan and Hadia Ashfaq. I would now like to call upon Imam Zahir to come up and announce the awards for the best elementary level chronic class presentation 
and the best middle school level Quran class presentations. Winning classes, please come up to, re come up to receive your trophy, certificates, and gifts when the winners are announced. And our winning class for elementary is level four. So please come up and get your awards. Level four. All level four students, please come up to the stage. All of level four, please come to the stage. And so now the winning class for best middle school level chronic presentation is level eight. Level eight, please come to the stage to get your certificates, gifts, and picture. And now the, for the winners of the individual Quranic Reciter competition, I would like to request our respected Gari Amr to come up to present the awards for the winners of the competition. Winners, please come up and receive your medals, certificates, and gifts as your name is announced. And the winner is, for grade one, first place is Layal Hilal, second place is Kayan Shan, and third place is Qasim Ashfa. Please come up. And our winners for second grade are second grade winner. In first place, Dawson Saida. In second place, Zubair Ahmed. And in third place, Saim Ikram. Stand next to brother. Third And our winners for third grade are our winners for third grade are in first place Motasim Ali Said, in second place Asfa Ahmed, and in third place Rayan Kamal. And our fourth grade winners are and our fourth grade winners are in first place Lemurs Al Zayat, 
In second place, Mahdi Sikdar, and in third place, Neon Sh Nial Shan. Alhamdulillah, this concludes the winner's announcement for today's program. Next on our program is the open house. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. So one thing which we wanted to keep to the last, but that is the best part, is our group with whom we started the program, our Mohsin kids, who are the special kids of this school, who we love dearly. So inshallah, uh, Imam Tahir would be awarding them. I am going to uh, call the names and inshallah they will be awarded by Imam Tahir and Qari Amal. Anisha Faizi. They deserve a round of applause. They are the most hardworking kids in this school. Safan Sadiq and Sakina Imad. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. You want to yeah. go this way? Carefully. This way. This way. This way. Alhamdulillah, this concludes the winner's announcements for today's program. Next on our program is the open house. Students have prepared work and short presentations in their classrooms to highlight their achievements in Islamic studies. In your, class, in your child's classroom, your students will receive their report cards, awards ribbons, and certificates of completion and a special gift for your child. Before we conclude, Sister Razia has finally showed up in the prayer hall, so we would like to award her with the gift that we were going to give her at the beginning of the assembly. So Sister Razia, could you please come to the stage so we can give you your gift? If throughout the entire program you either have heard your name or your child's name and you were not on the stage, please come to the awards table to the side to collect your um, award. On behalf of MCC Sunday School and my fellow MCs, I would like to thank all of you for attending the 12th annual end of year program.